hello and welcome to our first mail day on the channel. I um, have a bunch of padded envelopes here. I was very good for a long time. I didn't buy any cards for I think about six months, probably more than six months. And this past week I went on a bit of a binge, bought a bunch of cards off eBay and I was traveling all week. So today I came home, there was a nice little backlog of, of packages for me to open. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we have first here. First we have, okay. Ooh, I don't have scissors here. Um, let me open this, bear with me here. Open this card in a previous video that I've been looking at for a long time. And here it is. This is a Rhett Bomar Rookie Authentics from SP Authentic. It's numbered 473 of 999. It's an on-card auto with a nice two-color patch actually there. It's got a little bit of white. And I've uh, been wanting this card for a while. Glad to finally have it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Hopefully this one's a little easier. It looks like it will be. Ah, so this is Brandon Allen from Black Gold. This is an on-card autograph, I think. It's numbered 176 or 225. I'm not a huge Brandon Allen guy, but as you guys know, I do really like black gold. This card came up, it was, no one bid on it. It was at 99 cents um, plus shipping. So I put in a 99 cent max bid and, and I won it. And here it is. So a, a player I don't have any other cards of. And uh, this is a very cool card. It's got some kind of carbon fibery looking thing behind him there and on the second layer. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking card. All right, up next, this is, Quite the package here, very, very thorough. Oh man, this one's gonna take me a while to open. Looks like it's stapled. It's got another <laughs> bubble mailer wrapped around the card. I, I'm sure whatever I bought it wasn't valuable enough to, what is this? Okay, so we got one of these things. I did not buy any basketball cards. So I imagine whatever I got, is in here and these are extras that was very nice to so, say oh this is a, a shiny basketball card i guess this is optic basketball don't know who any of these guys are and ooh, ooh, so this is what i bought so i'll show you the rest of the basketball guys here ben simmons i've heard of this guy he's meant to be really good um so this is the card I actually don't want to get these basketball guys out of the way here. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is one we're having trouble getting it to fit in our view here. All right. So this card, I've been thinking for a while that I needed some Oz autographs and uh, I saw this one and uh, absolutely couldn't resist. Um, I think this is just such a ridiculous card. Um, Oz has a really crazy signature. It says Mile High written out in jersey pieces. It's a booklet. Um, I believe this card is damaged. The, the seller said the card is damaged. It's got some some scraping here. I, I um, Yeah, I mean, couldn't grade this or whatever, but I, I think it actually looked worse in the photos this this damage to the finish over here. It's actually, it doesn't look like it's a scratch, just like the layer is, the top layer of the card is screwed up. Um, it actually looks pretty good in person. Um, so I really appreciate the seller's honesty on this card. It was really cheap. And uh, I think this is probably one of my new favorite cards. I really like this one. It's um, from uh, Playbook. It's really hard to get on the camera here. Playbook, rookie playbook, let's see, is it numbered? Yeah, it's numbered 11.99. Wow. Oh, man. This thing is sweet. All right. Let's see if we can get the camera mounted properly again here. It's okay. Um, oh, man. I'm going to have to get organized after all this. Really nicely packaged that Oswire card. We definitely leaving super great feedback for that guy. Either. All right, here's the next one. Oh, this card, um, this is Signature Masterpieces. 
um, from the Ultimate Collection. I think this must be Upper Deck. Yeah, it's Upper Deck. And um, this is, it's Ryan Strom. I, I don't really care about Ryan Strom. I, I think he's pretty much of a bust. Um, but I wanted to see this card because this set is really crazy. These, these signature masterpieces, they're like paintings. And they're signed in gold ink. They have these crazy gold borders. Um, and this card was 99 cents. So um, picked it up just to see it, really. Um, oh, man. This card looks really cool. Um, it'd be nice to have these cards for some of the better players. Um, I think it's an on-card auto. Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. What a, what a crazy card. Um, is it not numbered? Hmm, I don't see any numbering on it, but I don't imagine there are a ton of them. All right, uh, I'm already getting confused with all the different bubble mailers. All right, so here's another one. Another one. Oh, this is a Com C order, so there are a bunch of cards here. Um, I really like ordering from Com C. Prices are good. You can combine the shipping and get a bunch of cards at once. Um, actually, we've got Jeff Smoker. This guy played at Michigan State. He was pretty good. He, he got in some trouble at MSU for like doing coke or something. And um, he hung around the NFL very briefly. I think he's from like central Pennsylvania, around this kind of same area I'm from. Never really liked this guy. Um, and always wanted it, one of his autographs. Interesting signature J11, it looks like there. I guess those are two Fs. Anyway, the next one. This one, David Carr, um, rookie on-card auto from Press Pass. I imagine this was a big hit um, back in the day. This was probably an expensive card. I think I got it for about four bucks. It's an on-card auto of David Carr. He was the first overall pick out of Fresno State by um, the Texans. He didn't really pan out. He didn't really have much of a chance either playing on a Texans expansion team that was really, really bad. Um, not a great signature, but I'm pretty pleased with this card. It's, it's numbered to 200, so... And that that's really low for this time frame. This would have been a big, big card um, back in 02. Very cool. Next, so then... And Comps, they don't put everything in top players, so... We have the rest in a sleeve here, and then they're just in little penny sleeves. I'm just gonna go through these now. First, we have Adrian McPherson. Here's a, he was an interesting one. He, he went to FSU, he was pretty good. Got in trouble, it was like gambling or something like that. Something weird he got in trouble for. And he went to the Saints. He's famous for those who play in the, I think it was in the preseason where he lined up behind the guard to, to get the snap. Um, so he kinda went down as a, uh, not the biggest success story, but I remember there was some hype around him when he was first at FSU. He was a talented guy for sure, good ball thrower. Um, on card auto here from Rookie Authentics, SP Authentic. It's numbered 122 to 850. Nice to have an autograph of him. All right, and I think in a previous video I mentioned I need to get a Carmazzi autograph, so I did. Here's Giovanni Carmazzi, the, the legendary quarterback. Um, I think he was a third round draft pick by the 49ers out of Hofstra. He was a, a mega bust. I think he was in the league for like a year. Um, this card is really nice because it's the same set as that Tim Rattay auto that I have, if, you, if you've seen that video. Um, and so they'll go together perfectly. Same team, both quarterbacks from the same rookie class. Uh, nice Bowman on card autos. I don't think these are numbered, but they are really nice. Um, they'd certainly be numbered today. Next, JP Velazman. Um from Upper Deck Ultimate Collection. I've been wanting a, a Lozman auto for a long time. This guy was definitely one of my favorites when I was a kid. I, I have a nice J.P. Lozman Bills jersey. Um, his autos are not super, super cheap on eBay, actually. They're they're in more like the $5 range than the $2 range. Um, this card's number 90 of 99. It's nice. Um, it's not my favorite photo, but it's an on-card auto. It's pretty low numbered. Um, and this is a pretty high-end product, Ultimate Collection. Um, so there's that one, JP. I think that he's like a an assistant coach for Clemson now or something like that. Um, up next, ooh, 
really like this. Uh, Jake Locker from Gold Standard RPA. On Card Auto with Silver Ink. Man, I really dig this card. I've uh, been wanting a Locker Auto for a while. I think I mentioned that in a past video. And this was a nice one to get. I picked it up real cheap from Com C. The card looks nice. It, I think it was just a bit of a steal on my part. Um, it's number 274 of 325. Ooh, really nice card there. Up next, um, not such an amazing card. They put two cards in one penny sleeve. Oh no, they're just stuck together. Um, here's John Franklin from Hit. This is a sticker auto. I, I think this is like the only autograph card of this guy. Um, it's, it's, he's wearing a, an Auburn uniform here. He's listed as a wide receiver. Um, he originally committed to Florida State as a quarterback. He was like sixth on the depth chart and he transferred to Eastern uh, Mississippi Community College where he featured in one of the seasons of um, that show about Eastern Mississippi Community College on Netflix, Last Chance You. And so that's how I knew about this guy. It was, you know, it was just kind of a funny card to see pop up. It was, it was real cheap. Um, I, I, this guy, he went to Bears camp as a corner, um, but he did not make the team. I'm not sure what he's up to these days. Um, there you go. We have his auto. There probably won't be many more down the road. Up next, we finally got a Brian Brom auto. And this is a nice one, 84 of 100. Pretty, pretty short print card here. Um, nice photo. This would have been a pretty big card back in the day. Um, Brom didn't really pan out. He did start a game or two. I, I, I know he started at least one game for the Bills. Um, you're drafted by the Packers. Um, nice signature, Brian Brom 12. Really cool card. Excited about that one. Excited to get this one into a top loader. Here, ooh, got Brody Croyle Auto. I couldn't find an on-card auto uh, for Croyle. Not a nice one at a price I wanted to pay. Brody Croyle was another quarterback I really liked. He played Alabama, in, and he showed a lot of promise there. He was a really talented ball thrower. Um, went to the Chiefs. I know he started at least one game. He did not do real well. Um, and he was out of the league pretty quickly. I, I think he runs some kind of like a ministry um, organization, like a, a home for kids or something like that now. Um, this card is from PRC. I'm not sure what that is. It's Topps Paradigm. Um, this card's numbered 46 of 149. Really nice heavy stock. Pretty clean looking card. Good photo. Up next, ooh. We have Stephen McGee from Rookie Authentics. Really nice looking card. Um, two color patch, actually. We've got like a, I'm not sure if that's number or letter in the name, but it's, like, it's a Cowboys home jersey in the patch. On card auto, uh, number 999. This card really is a high end card. Is this the same set as, yeah, it is. Look at this. Uh, Steve, Steve McGee went to Texas A&M. He was kind of like a running quarterback there. Um, hung around with the Cowboys for a while. I think he even started a couple games. Not really a super high-end ball thrower. Um, not the kind of downfield throwing ability you look for an, an NFL starter. Um, but he was a really hard-nosed player, and he was fun to watch. I don't think he's in the league anymore. Um, all right, now we're getting confused. I think this is the last card. Um, I picked up the Jeff Smoker auto, so I had to, I had to get Drew Stanton as well. Um, Drew Stanton took over as Michigan State quarterback after uh, Smoker, and really like Drew Stanton, pretty heroic player in college. He, he got injured like covering kicks when he was a backup. I think he broke his arm, broke his leg or something. I saw him actually play um, in person one game when he was at Michigan State. He was very, very good. I think he's still in the NFL. He's really made a good living for himself as a backup. He's considered one of the better backups in the NFL. I'm not sure if that's really justified, um, but he seems like um, a, you know a good presence to have around the team, a leader, um, kind of an impressive guy. Um, nice signature, nice card here from Press Pass. This is Gridiron Graphs. I don't think it's numbered. Eh, I, don't, I don't think that is numbered, but... Still a very nice looking Drew Stan card. Must be one of the best. Um, I think we got through it all. Everything that we want to go through for now anyway. 
and I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Hello, today we have another mail day. Um, I know most of the really professional card YouTubers wait till they have a bunch of packages before they open them all up on camera so they make a really good long video. Um, I only have one here today, but I'm not patient enough to wait for the other cards to arrive. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this right up. This might be a card that I don't wanna show, so this might be a pretty short video. Okay, we've got wrapped in the newspaper here. What is this? Ooh, okay, yeah, so one of these I don't want to show, but there are two cards here, so. Wait, oh, we got one. Oh, wait, no, they're both in the same top order. Okay, so I guess I'm going to show you the back. So this is David Clowney. He's a wide receiver from Virginia Tech. I, I do not remember this guy at all. This card's from Topps DPP, class marks. It's a sticker auto. Um, there's another card on the other side of this top loader here that I'm saving for another video and, and the reason I bought this lot was the, the cheapest way to get the card I wanted was to also get this guy, David Clowney, thrown in there for free. So keep an eye out for more videos coming very soon. David Clowney, here we go. Hi, today we are going to do another mail day. We have two packages today and let's see what we got. I do not know what we have. First, okay, so we have Eric Zire here in an interesting top loader. Okay, I just, we had a couple top loaders in there for protection, that's nice, and a nice little bonus, actually, they're useful. These are kind of old, dirty top loaders, but I'm still quite happy to have them. Let's see if we can get the card out of here and have a look. Um, now, Eric Zire is a retro obscure quarterback. He played for the the Browns, the Ravens, as you can see here. I think he went to Georgia. Um, he hung around the league for a while. He started a bunch of games. He was a bit of a, an underachiever, I think. But this is a really old on-card autograph card. There, there were not many autographs in these days. <laughs> it's just the back. I mean, wow, things really change. This is a thin stock card. Um, it's not numbered. And uh, yeah, a good example of an old-school football card there. I don't want to edit that out. We have a, a PY, P, PWE, plain white envelope here. Let's see what we have in this one. Uh, taped in here. <laughs> we got another, uh, we got another Oz here. It's taped on. Ooh, bending the card there. Careful. A bit of a tape mark there. So this is an Oswiler from Press Pass Showcase. It is see-through, which is kind of cool. Another Oswiler has a really wild signature. Um, and this card is number 12 of 299. I'll have to clean up this top loader a bit. That's not a card, it's just a, a grungy top loader. And there it is. I thought this was kind of a, a fun card as well. I think it was $5 shipped. Um, Happy to have it. All right, so that's all we have today. There are more cards on the way and, and we'll see them when they get here. Cheers. Hello, today we have another mail day. We have two plain white envelopes. Let's see what we have. I think I know what these are. But I'm not positive. Oh my gosh, this one's taped closed. Oh, all right, got it. So here we have yeah, Billy Kilmer. So this is from Topps Archives. It's a Topps Archives certified autograph issue card. And what I guess this is, this is a reprint of a classic, classic Billy Kilmer card. And I guess it's an on-card auto. Um, see if we have any more info on the back now, just the plain back. Um, it does have a sticker here. I guess that's some sort of registration sticker. Um, really, this is cool, especially because, as you can see, I actually have the original. I picked up the original in an antique store when I was a kid. I've had this card for a long time. I saw this one on eBay, and I thought that was a really cool thing to have. So there we go. Now, another one, I believe this will also be a 
vintage quarterback, and a new card of a vintage quarterback. Let's see here. Creative with their their packaging. Wait, is this a birthday card? This might not be a card. No, okay, this is a card. It came in a thank you envelope, which, okay, you're welcome. Um, okay, yep, yeah, here it is. A little nice message here. Okay, anything, thank you. Anything I can do, let me know. Feedback is appreciated. I will certainly be leaving positive feedback. Here is the card. It is an Earl Morrill autograph. Earl is kind of an interesting player because I believe he won two Super Bowls as a as a primarily a backup quarterback makes him kind of a legend. I think he won one with the Colts and one with the uh, Dolphins. And the Dolphins won, he was a back for Brian Greasy. Oh, I've got an extra here, Steve Young. That's nice, thanks for the extra. Um, and the Colts, he was back for Johnny Nice. This is a nice card, on card auto. It's Sports Illustrated presented by Fleer. And this card is like a, I guess a copy of a classic Sports Illustrated cover. The auto, really nice auto here from, from Earl. Um, this card is, I don't think it's numbered. Um, really cool though. I, I'm kind of digging these vintage quarterback autos. I was surprised to find out how many there are on eBay. Um, there's a good selection of classic quarterbacks who, who sign cards. So I will probably try to get some more. Anyway, that is all we have for today. Hope you all have a great one. Cheers.